So in this video, we are gonna dive deep into deep linking from 0 to 99.9999% from the most basic version to self-hosted super custom solution. And there will be timestamps. So let's begin. First of all, what is deep linking? It allows you to open your app from other apps by clicking a link or programmatically. This is especially useful for social apps and other apps that have Stripe payments and payments on the browser. And this way, users can share profiles, share pictures in your app or open your app after they finish payment. When you first create a flood of flow project and open settings and on app details, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see routing and deep linking. Here you can basically configure how other people can open your app. So if I copy the first section and put the colon slash slash in front of it and copy this section and paste it next to it, I have a link to my app and other apps can use it to open my app. This could be on a browser or on a share action block. Now that we have a gateway to our app, how do we navigate in it? It's really similar to a website. We just copy the route name and paste it like this after a slash. And now imagine I'm sharing a link to a profile page. This profile page probably has a user ID parameter. How do we pass that? You just put the variable name and equals to the value. And all of this is completely the same as a website. So far so good. Now, this kind of a link isn't really for user-facing stuff. We don't want to share this weird-looking link with our users. We want to share a normal-looking URL that navigates the user to the app, or if they don't have the app installed, opens the web app. And that actually brings us to the advanced section of the video. We used to use Firebase Dynamic Links, but that's dying in about two weeks. And the replacement solution that Flutterflow announced branch.io, I don't like it. It's not that easy to implement and it's a vendor lockdown again. So what if we just bite the bullet once and use a custom solution? So we are going to reference Flutter's own documentation. And in this tutorial, we are going to implement Android and iOS deep linking plus web. And we can't test on iOS because the app needs to be on a developer program. So it has a team ID but I'm gonna just guide you through it. So for Android, we first need to modify android.xml. And this used to be really hard on Flutterflow, but thanks to the latest updates, we can just add it. So just go to custom code and open Android manifest. And I'm just gonna copy and paste it over here. And we need to modify example.com, but I'm gonna leave it for now. And we need to do the same for iOS. But the Flutter documentation only shows it how we can do it with Xcode. But we don't want to use Xcode here. So we are going to be a bit sneaky. Go to settings and enable Firebase dynamic link for a second. So that Flutterflow will add these into our runner.entitlements. I'm just going to copy it and then disable Firebase dynamic links. And then press on this plus button and add our own entitlements. And again, over here, the link should be different, but we'll come back to it. Now I'm going to download the code. I'm keeping it simple because it's gonna be a lot easier with GitHub integration or having the extension installed on VS Code, but we're going to go with download code. So there is no need for pre-configuration, but if you have them, use them for sure. Now we need to create a release APK file. So just write flutter build APK dash dash release. We're gonna wait for a few minutes. While we wait for that, did you know you can actually clone the project and download any resources we use and create in this tutorial by just joining our Patreon community where we share clonable project links and source code and build with me videos and early access videos. And you'll also support our channels and keep us motivated. So give it a go. Okay, our app is built. Now we have this APK release file. Next, we have to use this command and drag and drop our APK to terminal. And this is gonna reveal the SHA-256 uh, signing key and we're gonna need it for Android deep linking to work. Now onto the exciting stuff with Firebase hosting. 
I'm gonna create a new project on cursor. Now we write Firebase in it. I'm just gonna select hosting and an existing project and select the project you are using and press enter for every question it asks. It's gonna use the default settings. We can see that we have a project over here. And now if we go back to Flutter deep linking documentation, we can see for Apple, we need to host this kind of file. And for Android to work, we need to host this assets links.json file. And it says the files should be accessible through our domain slash dot well known folder and the file name. So let's create that. It's super easy. I'm just gonna create a folder named dot well known under public and create a new file, name it assets.json and just paste this into our editor. And now we need to change package name and the key, copy the package name from Flutterflow and just put our own package name into the file. And this is the team ID. So our app doesn't have a team ID right now, but if your app is deployed to App Store, you will have a team ID that you can just paste it over here and then everything is the same. If you need help with that, please let me know. We are almost done over here. With this configuration, it will work on Android and iOS if they have the app installed. But if they don't, it won't work. To fix that, first make sure the app is deployed to web. So just copy the web app URL from Flutterflow and open Firebase.json in our project and add this last bit. It will redirect everything to the destination except the files that are in the dot well known folder. So just paste the Flutterflow link into destination. And now we are officially done. Right, Firebase deploy. So right now, if I click on this link, while it's not our Flutterflow link, it will redirect us to the Flutterflow app. And to test if the deep links will actually work on Android and iOS, we need to point to the dot well known folder. So slash dot well known slash asset links dot JSON. And we can see the file hosted over here. Amazing. Now, do you remember the example.com domain? We need to replace that. So copy the domain and come back to custom code and edit our entitlements and put it exactly where example.com was. And click save, don't forget that. And also put the domain here and don't forget to save it and download the code again and build another APK using this command. And then to install our app into the emulator, I'm just gonna drag and drop it into the phone. And one other way you can make sure the deep linking will work is to long press on the app and, and scroll down and open open by default. We can see we have one verified link. It means if I click on this link, it will open our app directly. And if I put the same URL into my browser, it will redirect us to the Flutterflow web app. And we can pass parameters just like we did with other deep links and other links. And if you have your own domain, you can easily connect it to your Firebase hosting. And then you can have aliideas.com slash profile. It will work. Having deep links means that we can just share a link to our app. So using a share action and a combined text, we can share links to different parts of our apps and it will work across web, Android, and iOS. So that's it. If you like more deep dive videos, consider subscribing to get more of these. See you in the next one.